so hello guys and welcome back to my channel if you're new here hi lillian here and please um and a quick disclaimer here this video is not ghana versus nigeria okay and also this video is not the things that i have committed this video is things that people have committed men from my country are committing in my country so i am speaking up against it so i'm saying this for the people at the comment section that are coming i'm not comparing you to anybody i'm addressing what is happening and i feel like it's time for us to have this conversation because i saw this ayomi daily guy story i'm like okay nothing new about it but the next video that follows suit i know it's time for us to have this conversation and that is because the new thing is single mothers are now the target i mean i'm not talking about single mothers as a woman so the new target is the children raised by single mothers okay what ayomide is doing almost all his victims apart from his own biological sister are all kids from single parents single mothers precisely and it is unfair that we don't talk about it a lot of the things that women are going through in my country and people are asking us to keep quiet to not talk about it because it has not happened to us so we must leave it for them to continue the only time we have the right to talk is when it happens to you god forbid so um but i think it's time for us to talk about this because it's unfair okay it's okay that we get shamed for not abandoning the kids that the men leave for us maybe by death or by decision to do so or by whatever reason they have to leave the kids for us to raise alone it's okay we are dealing with that okay it's okay to be broke shamed and all the things we go through right in front of all cf if you're Ghanaian and you're watching this video on youtube here you have evidence i have evidence of how nigerian men are shamed me me both the ones you like and the ones that you do not like the ones that are your favorites you see how they do things to me a lot of the times and they don't really have any excuse this is how it is back home the difference here is that i live in ghana and they know that the law is working at least to a reasonable point otherwise by now nigerian men would have unalived me they would have unalived me for not because i offended them both just for being a woman and especially for being a single mother so let's react to this quickly together this story of um this are your media of a guy guys we need to talk about the story because the internet is going wild a young girl who was reported missing on the 19th of August 2024 on her way to her IT has now been found dead and buried in the backyard of a church member. 21-year-old Christiana Ido, a student of the Federal University of Agriculture in Abiokuta, was said to be doing her IT in Lagos. When she went missing, her IT location was believed to be in Yaba, Lagos. And when she left home that day on the 19th, it was believed that she was on her way to her IT place of assignment. But by the end of the day, nobody heard from her. The next thing the parents knew was somebody using her phone to chat them and letting them know that she had been kidnapped and the person suddenly requesting one million naira. The kidnapper even went as far as taking a picture of her being tied up showing that she was kidnapped and the picture was a view once picture you know you can only view it once and afterwards it disappears completely to let the parents know for real that Christina Ido had been kidnapped and if they don't send the money the worst could happen and this is a nightmare for every parent this is a nightmare that you don't even want to wish it upon your worst enemy and instantly the parents came up with 300,000 naira, and that was how the kidnapper instructed them to pay the 300,000 naira into his betting account you know one of those betting platform accounts we all thought that that was all we all thought that that was all right that is not all that is not all okay so the follow-up video that crime i mean the video that daniel uploaded again yesterday is how we managed to know that these guys are now they have changed their munda of operandi now it's about single mothers and the girl child of a single mother it's no longer about attacks on women it's now about the parents i mean it's, it's not about the girl child of a single mother for god's sake i am no longer comfortable living outside of my country it's not my calling for god's sake 
how does it even sound that i have to leave my country in africa here to move to another african country and over here it's not like i have a job here this what i'm doing here what i'm doing in ghana here i could I could have done it at home if I'm given a chance to be home. Electricity will not get. The little life when you won't manage, they want to take it from you. You can't be say, go punish your life. Man can't leave you with children, maybe by death or decision. It can't be your double crime. How long are we going to go with this? I'm calling on the Nigerian police. Service. Um, I hope that the Nigerian police will see this video and know how concerning and how alarming it feels. And sometimes it scares us, like it's unfair. You think of taking your, you just, it's, just, it's just a crazy life. Now let's watch this update video from Daniel. Guys, this boy is a serial killer. This is another victim of his that he most likely killed in February of 2023. A 20-year-old girl named Sarah Jonathan who went missing on the 1st of February 2023 in the same Ikorodu area around the Ito Oluwo Aziz where Christina Idowu was said to have gone missing to. But nobody heard from her, nobody saw her, nothing came out of her case when she went missing last year. And from the look of things, turns out that this boy, Ayomide Adelehe, might be the one behind the disappearance and most possibly mother of this girl, whose body is most likely buried somewhere that only he would know. And the details are shocking. This girl went missing the same way Senaido went missing. Just wait till you hear the details. So, Sarah Jonathan is a student of um, Lagos State uh, Polytechnic in Ikorodu. And on the 1st of February, it was said that she went to see her mom because her mom is a teacher. She went to collect money from the mom and was supposed to head back to school or maybe head back home. But somewhere along the line, she vanished. However, Around 12 midnight on the 2nd of February, her mother got a text from her mobile phone, from her WhatsApp. Somebody is chatting with the mother, telling the mother that she has been kidnapped and that the mother should send 1.5 million naira. Almost similar to this girl's case. It even gets worse. And that was how Sarah's mother started running Elta Sketa. The mother could not come up with 1.5, so she came up with 300k. And then the kidnapper urged the mother still to contact her school and hope that the school will help raise money and that was what happened the school the student the faculty helped raise money to pay to her kidnappers and also the kidnapper sent a photo of her just the same way he sent a photo of christina Ido. this was how he also sent for sarah jonathan and after they finished raising the money for her release they stopped hearing from him up until now when christina Ido's story is going viral the family have not heard anything as regarding Sarah Jonathan. They met the police, the police could not do anything. They tried uh, tracing her phone and they also noticed that her phone was traced to Ikorodu area in uh, that same place where this girl went missing. And nobody knew anything, nobody had any suspicion until now. It gets even worse and more damning for this boy. I am so confident that it's this boy that kidnapped and killed this girl because not only did they already know each other because the family did not know that they knew each other when the christina Ido case blew up they found out that this boy ayomide is facebook friends with sarah jonathan even a year ago around the time she went missing found out that the both of them communicated on her facebook posts on his facebook posts per se so this is sarah and this is ayomide responding they seem to be friends they seem to know each other and upon further investigation by the family, they found out that they went to the same church. This is the same church that Christina Ido goes to, and the same church that Sarah Jonathan goes to, and it's that same church that this boy also goes to. Another thing that is similar with Christina and Sarah is that they are both the same age grade. And also I observed that, I don't know if it's a pattern, I would like to know more about the other victims. She only has a mom, she doesn't have a dad. And I think she too only has a mom, no dad. So I am guessing that this boy targets this girl specifically who only have their moms. No wonder he, when he wants to bargain, he goes solo because we know real kidnappers. No kidnapper will call one millionaire for you. No kidnapper will go through the stress of kidnapping somebody and then say pay 1M or collect 300M. That alone shows that whoever kidnapped these people oh, are not very far. Friends with him, she most likely trusted him, they go to the same church. You see how these things happen. We always want to blame girls for being runs, girls being hookups. These are friends. 
If you see the way they chat on the on the Facebook, you can tell that this is not a relationship. These are friends. A boy that goes to my church. And for Christina, is a boy that goes to my school and my church. And he's also my neighbor. We grew up together. It's crazy. It's it's scary. We see girls die like this when they travel afar to go and meet random men they don't know. But here we are seeing the same situation with innocent young girls in the hands of men or young boys that they know and trust still dying. It's just sick. It's just psychotic. The seven mobile phones that was caught with him most likely belongs to the seven victims that he may have done this to. I just wish the police dig more. I just wish they find more because if he's working with other people, then there's a chance that there are other people out there. And also we need to know how many members of his family is among because his mother, father, if anybody so much as has an idea of what he's doing, they too should be locked up. So now we're expecting them to dig up bones around the compound. So he's just staying in a house where there are shallow graves around the compound with innocent young girls being buried there. And he gets to sleep very well and sleep in peace and wake up every other morning, enjoying food, enjoying life. Where there are dead girls buried around your father's compound and you want to tell me your father does not know your mother does not know your siblings nobody in the family house or in the, your father's house knows no i i i i i i i doubt and we are waiting honestly i can't wait to see how this turns out because i don't think it's only two, three victims. Where there is smoke, there is fire. You see, I should tell you, it's a two day. You see, you see, you see, you see the private party, they don't come out. Sir, they don't move anything. Hey, how many people did you face here? See, they even put clothes for a man. You are who killed this girl? Sam, the only one I swear to God. What did you use in killing her? I strangled her. You strangled her to death. Yes, sir. Why? Why? They don't come out of the womb. Yes. Sir, I swear to God, they don't come out of the womb. Okay, wait. Why did you kill her? Sir, they will let you now. They will let you now. What and what? What and what? Who's part of her? What and what did you remove from her body? Okay, why did you kill her? At all? Why did you remove anything? I told you now. Why did you kill her? Talk now. Why did you kill her? I don't have to escape. That's why. She is in my face. Why did you kill her? Why did you kill? I kidnapped her. I like I told you. She was trying to escape. So she is in my face. Where did you kidnap her from? She know you before. No. Where did you kidnap her from? From the, I brought her here. Where did you carry her from? From that gas station. Did you carry her? Yes, sir. How did you, how did you get her contact? I brought her here. I brought her here. This is a rope for the net. And nobody sees you, sir. What time? Around what time? It was nine, after nine. Around nine. What do you say, your name? Jeremiah. Jeremiah, what? Which up are you? Boju. Hmm? Boju. Boju from which state? Kanda South. What brought you to Kogi? Hozu. Hozu. Okay. This is the Hozu. This is the Hozu. But How many people have you killed in your life? I swear to God. Swear to Which God. of the God are you talking about? Who? You swear to God. How many people have you killed? Did you know God? Please, this is my first time. You see? This is my first time. I swear to God. Apart from kidnapping, what does that mean? Then who removed our ancestors and other people? Who? Who removed? You heard it. You heard it. It's a target attack. Like, this is a new pattern. And let me shock you. Global. I don't know who is watching this video. Let me tell you. All these men I'll be displaying on the screen, all these men here, you see, all, this, all the serial killers in my country, none of them is raised by a single mother. You see all the serial killers, all this one, the one that killed Afiba, the Ghanaian lady, the one that killed, um, the one that killed Augusta, the Nigerian model, the one that killed a Nigerian girl that went in search of a job, the one that killed, you know, the list is long. I cannot even remember their names. All these people have father figures in their lives. They live with their mothers and fathers. So what is happening? It's as if women, the moments we are busy with a man, we forgot our primary responsibility, which is a child. Once you become a mother, that is the person that needs you the most. They need you to teach them the fear of God. And some of these people's fathers are pastors. Please, you guys should leave single mothers alone. It's hard. In Ghana here, you see how they shame me. Boys, Nigerian men, you see them looking for ways to get to me. Some of them want to unseat me. If they see anything good on my channel, they want it. And you begin to wonder, what did Lily do to them? I didn't do anything to them. 
you guys you don't know that you don't know that back home in my country single mothers are they are hated okay fine we are living like that okay let's live in denial that i'm all blabbing for those that will say he pay me when you talk about nigeria now only god will punish you now only god will punish you you go through women are going we are going through a law like they bro if they're not if they are not broke shaming me they are cooking up a lie against me all in a bite to see me he go down and you want to know what did you what did you do to them nothing nothing i didn't do nothing to them they just can't stand it if they are not doing tribalism they are hating on single mothers now they have taken the hits offline to go and you know to go and cause families pain upon pain pain unbearable pain everlasting pain a woman would sacrifice all her life to raise her girls someone would sit with her own father and mother in the house and the society would love and respect your mother because they think she's a good person because she has a man she sleeps with to keep the you know just to cover shame if people know what i go through as a single mom i don't think a lot of the things people do to me except you are a devil sometimes i'm awake late into the night walking my ass out it's not something i like and it's not it's not like i enjoy walking so hard without resting and you go through all that and then someone is sitting down and planning you may god never let us see in jesus name this is the reality if you are a child of a mother if you know you are a child a daughter of a single mother be careful every nigerian woman should be careful but if your mother is raising you alone you are now their target so just so you know i don't want your mother to go through all of this stress only for them to take you away from her it is wrong and the police will do nothing i hope that the nigerian police act on this this are your midday guy buried these kids buried these girls in their in his compound in his day he buries them in their in their compound like in his house where the mother and father lives you tell me they don't know about it what is going on like why do we i think it's time for the government to implement a law if your child any of your boy child or girl child or kids cause any problem outside the parents should go down to because it's it's it's, un, it's, it's not fair some of us have given up on ourselves you just want to focus on the kids and then women who can't even fend for themselves who cannot you, you leave they stay in abusive marriages just they stay in abusive marriages and forget to take care of the boys forget to take care of their kids and then these kids will go out there and cause damage to the society all of these serial killers i have shown you in this video all of them have father figures they have mother and father living happily together happily to the society though i don't have anything against marriage i love it i like it i'm the only single parent in my family and i'm not shaking I, but i know what others are going through in my family i know what they are going through i'm not encouraging them i'm not encouraging anyone to join me but i know the kind of toxicity that exists there no time for the child because one minute the woman is happy in her husband the next minute the woman is sad and complaining bitterly and crying so which time do you have for the child I want the world to know this is what women are going through in my country and they will blackmail you they will say you went there for hookup i mean a young girl like this if she's not dating what should she do you learn to date and i heard that they have brought that pattern to in ghana to ghana to where they now somebody sent me a video the other day where a guy is confessing in church and he said i eat human's heart so if you don't take care of your girls whether you are in ghana or nigeria or south africa anywhere you are america their new target is girls of single mothers i hope you understand i'm done with this video don't say nigerians did not speak up i spoke